Back here in our area, if you are visiting downtown Round Rock, you may see a big empty spot right next to City Hall. There was a historic home that was once there, huh. now in a different spot. Okay, Xan's Dylan McKim is joining us live to tell us about the significance of this house and why it needed to be moved. Good morning, Dylan. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you see this huge gap behind me here in downtown. It's like a kid lost his first tooth out here. Uh, but this is where the Palm House used to be. You used to be able to walk right into its front door across from City Hall. It was the, uh, a home of one of the first Swedish family immigrant families that moved here into our area of Central Texas. But uh, it's now been moved back to its original location and the city has plans for this area that's going to change the look of downtown. In the mid 1850s, there was nothing out here when Anna Palm and her six children, fresh from Sweden, decided to make this place their home. The family became influential in developing the young city of Round Rock. They were instrumental in getting other Swedish immigrants to move to this region of Texas. Elroy Haverlaw is the former minister of Palm Valley Lutheran Church and the author of Anna's Journey, the story of the Palm family. Before they were here, there was, there was nothing out here. The Palms first lived in a tent but eventually built cabins, farmhouses, mansions, and the Palm House. Built in 1873, it was moved to downtown Round Rock 100 years later. The Round Rock Chamber of Commerce was located behind the house, so you had to walk through the historical building to get to the office. But now, the city has different plans for the area. It is remodeling the former public library and creating a paseo, or walkway, right next to it. So the Palm House had to go back to its original location. We're always looking to see if, you know, something needs to be moved to make way for strategic planning. The house was moved in the middle of the night, back to its original spot in Palm Valley. It will help serve as a reminder to the hardships pioneers faced. Today, their lasting impact can still be seen. Most of us drive down US 79 or Palm Valley Road and the land on which they settled became what we now call Old Settlers Park. And we're good stewards of their land. And so today, we've got hundreds, thousands of people who come out here and enjoy the park. Now the house is not going to be placed at the exact same spot it was when it was originally built. There's already a structure that was placed there, uh, but it's going to be moved about 40 or 50 feet uh, to where that was. So almost the exact same spot. We have a map on our screen right now. It shows you where the original location is and where the proposed location is. Uh, the work crews out there, I went out there last week, they are pouring those concrete pillars in there to make sure that the house, so once they pour that, the house will sit on there and will be there for uh, as long as we know, there for the rest of time. Guys. All so. right, Dylan McKim for us. So I've been into Old Settlers Park yeah. and there is a little section sort of by um, Del Diamond yes, where there's like an mm -hmm. old cabin mm -hmm. and just now there. you know. Now you now know. You know. Yeah. I, I think Central Texas does a really good job of preserving those kind of things. Yeah, just you know? picking it up and moving it, not taking it down, <laughs> yeah. you know? You're like, yeah. no, 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 we got it. We're just going to put it on the back of a truck and move it. Yes.